Hello everyone. So I'm out for a little walk here just to do an intro to this video. As the title suggests, Trini is broken. Uh, not anything major, but I thought you guys would probably like to see what's gone wrong and how I'm going to fix it. So uh, yeah, here's a little video about that. As I say, nothing really major. Uh, the rear drive side chain tube broke loose, flew forward into the idler, broke the ties to the uh, front drive side chain tube which went into the e-assist uh, at which point I'd already stopped so no damage done to the e-assist thankfully but uh, yeah the chain tubes are a bit of a mess and I think there's something wrong with the idler wheel as well so anyway for those of you that like watching me riding the trike around in the countryside my apologies for that um, there's going to be the next couple of videos at least where I'm going to be doing maintenance on the trike but uh, then we'll get back to riding her in some pretty countryside fairly soon hopefully anyway so on with the video Right then everyone, here's the trike without the seat. It's easier to see the offending article without the seat on. So we'll start at the back. It's this tube here. This chain tube. Now excuse the cable ties that are on there at the moment. I put the cable ties on to do a running repair on the road to get me moving again. But basically what happened was this chain tube the top chain tube that goes through the idler wheel literally went through the idler wheel so basically without that without this cable tie holding it that chain tube shot that way went through the idler wheel and you can see I think just on the top then we'll have a better look at that when I take it off but you can just about see some tooth marks where that went through the idler wheel on the top of that chain tube went through this side hit this one and has snapped some of the linkages on this one so the top chain tube on this side shot forward and guess where that ended up yeah straight in the motor and if we have a look on the underside of this chain tube you can see the tooth marks there when that went round the chain ring on the e-assist not good so the plan today is to remove the chain all the chain tubes and because I promised you guys I'm going to take the e-assist off as well and then we're going to clean it all up I'm probably going to have the idler wheel off as well I have a nasty suspicion that the axle bolt on the idler wheel has been bent if I ever look down on the top you can see just about I think there's not exactly a straight line coming through here anymore as I say, I think there's a nasty suspicion that that axle bolt has been bent when that went through. But we'll have a look when we get that off. So, let's make a start pulling it all to pieces. So the first thing I'm doing... <laughs> so the first thing I'm doing is trying to get this to focus on the chain, which hopefully it has now. I'm looking for the quick link on the chain. Shout if you see it. I think I've just seen it. Is that the quick link? Is that the quick link? Yes, it is. So having found our quick link, now we've got to get that apart. Give this chain a good clean when I get it off as well. Uh, 
Right, that's the china part. Simple job of pulling that through. There we go, one four meter chain, all ready for cleaning. Now we've got to get these chain tubes off, that shouldn't be a problem. It's just a few cable ties at the moment, unfortunately. So I was just going to undo the axle bolt to get this one off, to get this tube off, because it's on this metal hanger. Let me pull that one down out of the way. So there's a metal hanger here that wraps around the back of the idler wheel. And as I say, I was just about to undo this bolt to release that, and I find that it's actually completely loose and just hanging on there. It's just hooked over the back, which is not right. There's a washer around the back of the idler wheel that should have had that held tight. Hmm. Okay, let's get that idler wheel off. Yeah, as I thought, as soon as I start to turn it, hopefully you can see that. Oh yes, you can see that. The bolt is no longer straight. Lucky it didn't snap off in there, to be honest. Oh, it's very bent. That's not good. I wonder whether I can straighten it or whether it's better to get a new one. Let's take that off. What space has we got? I'm just going to check what space bases we've got behind here. So there's the washer. And we've got a little spacer. You see that was in the camera. So one spacer, one washer. Then the bolt. I'm trying to keep it in the camera view. There we go. So and then a washer on that side. Have to try and remember that folks for when we put it back on. There's the bolt. As you can see, it's bent. Shows how much force was going through it at the time. Oily hands and cameras don't go together. Need to get a rag. Right, let's have a look at these chain tubes then. So this is the offending one. So hopefully, as you can see there, bring it in yeah there that's better so you can see it there went into the idler wheel all chewed up and ruined so that's no good and you can also see the teeth marks there this is the second half of the top tube and uh, as you can see because the trike folds we have a this is hard poly pipe quite stiff as you can see when I try and bend that and uh, then we have this funny join come on focus oh it's hard to keep this focused oh there there we go so then we have a join onto a piece of flexible like rubber pipe this bit for where the trike folds and then just there there's another join and it goes into another piece of hard poly pipe on the end there with the flared end. So I've just noticed that this has got chewed up as well unfortunately. So uh, yeah that's going to have to be changed as well. Ah well we'll find some flexible piece of pipe to put in there. The bottom tube is exactly the same. Two hard pieces of poly pipe with a flexible rubbery bit in the middle. 
So as you can see on the bottom tube, I had these tape rings. They literally are just tape put round with a dent in the middle for a cable tie. So I could cable tie the, the tube against the frame. When I first got the trike, I found that this tube was constantly rattling against the frame because it didn't have enough places to hold it on. And it just made unnecessary noise. So we might see if we can come up with something better than that when we put the new tubes on. So that's all the chains and the tubes off. Next thing I want to do before I start working on the e-assist, taking that off, I'm going to put the chain in some degreaser to soak. Now I've got this stuff from Muckoff, drivetrain cleaner. The reviews online are quite good, I've not used it before. But uh, let's give it a go, I'm going to leave it to soak, as I say, for a while whilst I'm taking the assist off. And then we'll come back and see how good that's done without any scrubbing. Right, that's the chain in the pot. Yeah, it's a pretty dirty chain, as you can see. So that's what it looks like before it went in. Yeah, it looks all nice and shiny on there, doesn't it? Believe me, it's grimy. <laughs> Yeah. Right. Splash it all over. I'm not bothered how much of this I use because I can always put it back in the bottle and use it again. Oh, look at that. It's all of it. Apparently, you can use this stuff just with a toothbrush and do it little bit by little bit, but uh, I want to leave it to soak and see. It's a test after all. It's a funny colour, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, I think it's working. Yeah, it's going cloudy already, that's good. Right, we'll leave that for a while and come back to it. Okay, so the next job today is to remove this e-assist. As you can see, hopefully, I've already unplugged the cables. They're all loose hanging down there. So, all we're gonna do now is remove the crank arms already loosened these a bit. Just the crank arm cover nuts. Both of them done. Take my crank arm removal tool. Finger tight only on that one. Then wind the silver one in. good to go. Same on the other side. That's the other one off. Now we've got this special nut here on this side of the e-assist on the non-drive side and to remove that we have a special tool that comes with the e-assist kit that slides off there so next up we've got one little nut there, and another one there. Oh, fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. These are small. Careful not to lose them. And careful not to lose the spacer that's behind them as well. There's a little spacer that goes behind this bracket. the spacer behind it and that bracket comes off right what's next there's a nut drop it back a bit there's a nut under here holding the p-clip so we've got to undo that one 
I think I probably should have undone the bracket after I'd undone this because as you can see the motor's already twisting so I'm going to put that little bracket back on for a minute just to stop the motor from twisting whilst I undo the P-clip. That's better, much easier. little bracket off again. Guess what's next? That's it. It's as easy as that. Right and finally back to the chain. I've done no scrubbing on this chain at all. All I've done is agitated the liquid a couple of times like that and as you can see it's no longer that sort of day glow yellowy green color it's actually gone a dark green color and hopefully the chain in I'm not going to put my fingers in there at the minute because it's pretty fierce looking liquid to be honest and as you can see the chain is looking pretty good I'm pretty happy with that Hopefully it all looks like that. I'll show you the residue in the bottom when I get the chain out completely. But as I say, I'm not going to put my fingers in there at the minute. So let's get that chain out and have a look. So I got the chain out of the liquid. And I've got some kitchen towel. And I'm literally just wiping it to get the excess off. No scrubbing. That's it. And let's have a look, see what it looks like. That's not too bad. I think I can, once I get the rest of the liquid off of that. Yeah, just needs to dry off. Well, I need to dry it off. And uh, that's pretty much good to go. Now, like I said earlier, I know it didn't look like it on the camera. But that was pretty heavily soiled. You know the sort of off-ride riding. You know the sort of off-road riding that I like to do, and uh, it was full of dust and grit. But uh, let me give you a close-up of some of these links, considering I haven't scrubbed it at all. Well, that's not far off, is it? I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. Not bad. I shall be buying that again. Happy with that. So there it is, back in the bottle. Ugh. Like I say, no longer that day glow green colour, is it? And the residue in the bottom of the pot. I think you can just about see that. Lots of gritty... pretty yuck. So I've just hung the chain up to dry and I'm going to wipe it down. And as a degreaser it will just evaporate that that I miss anyhow so I shall leave it here for a, an hour or so just hanging to dry off. And uh, then we'll be ready to start putting things back together again. So that's it for this one. Uh, unfortunately that idler bolt that was bent, I've had to send off for a new one. I couldn't find one similar or couldn't straighten that one out. And it'd probably be weakened even if I had have straightened it. So well, yeah, I've sent off for some more. Hopefully they'll be here in a couple of days. And uh, who knows, by the time you see this one, I may have already completed it and be ready to post up the next video so look out for that one coming real soon yeah we'll soon be back out there riding 
looking forward to it as well. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Ta-da.